on the outskirts of a small town, cloaked in the shroud of moonlit mystery, stood an abandoned mansion that whispered tales of a dark past. Legend held that it had once served as the clandestine meeting place for a long-forgotten witch's coven, drawn by the allure of the supernatural. A group of friends, fueled by a combination of curiosity and the thrill of the unknown, decided to unravel the secrets hidden within its dilapidated walls. It was a night veiled in an eerie lunar eclipse, casting an ethereal glow upon the desolate mansion. The air crackled with a palpable energy. As the friends cautiously entered, their footsteps echoing through the creaking floorboards, shadows danced in tandem with the shifting moonlight, creating an otherworldly ambiance that added to the suspense. As they delved deeper into the mansion's recesses, the air thickened with an ancient presence. Whispers of a forgotten era rustled through the corridors, and the friends stumbled upon a grand ballroom, its opulent chandeliers now draped in cobwebs. The room seemed frozen in time, but the residual energy hinted at a bygone celebration. The atmosphere became charged with an inexplicable tension, and as the lunar eclipse reached its zenith, ghostly figures materialized on the dance floor, translucent and ethereal. The spirits of long-departed witches clad in tattered garments began to reenact a haunting dance. Their movements were graceful yet tormented, a spectral ballet echoing with the echoes of curses that bound them to the mansion. The friends, frozen in a mix of awe and terror, witnessed the tragic performance unfold. Each pirouette and twirl seemed to emanate a spectral energy, trapping the witches in a perpetual dance of anguish. Their faces bore expressions of sorrow, as if reliving the torment that led to their otherworldly entrapment. As the friends tried to retreat, an invisible force held them captive, forcing them to watch the spectral dance that played out before them. The haunting strains of an otherworldly melody filled the air, resonating with the anguish of the trapped spirits. It became apparent that the witches' souls were bound by a curse, forever condemned to relive their final moments under the ghostly glow of the lunar eclipse. In a desperate attempt to break the spectral chains, one of the friends, guided by an unexplainable compulsion, began to mimic the steps of the cursed dance. The moment their foot touched the cold ballroom floor, a surge of ethereal energy enveloped them. The otherworldly forces reacted, causing the ghostly figures to pause momentarily, their eyes fixed on the intruder. In that suspended moment, the friend felt a connection with the tormented spirits. Through an unspoken understanding, the spectral dancers released their hold, allowing the friends to break free from the mansion's bewitched confines. The lunar eclipse waned, and as the ethereal dance faded into the shadows, the mansion stood once again in silence. The friends, forever changed by their encounter with the dancing shadows, emerged from the abandoned mansion with a newfound reverence for the mystical forces that lingered at the crossroads of the living and the dead. The tale of the spectral dance became a whispered legend, a cautionary reminder to those who dared to tread where the veil between worlds was thin and the echoes of the past danced in the moonlit shadows.